Given vector u and v in R2, we're asked to show vector w with components four, five, is in the span of the vectors u and v. If vector w is in the span of vectors u and v, it must be a linear combination of vectors u and v, which means there must exist two scalars, which we will call c sub one and c sub two, such that c sub one times vector u plus c sub two times vector v must equal vector w. Now let's write out the vector equation. And we'll also write the vectors as column matrices, which gives us c sub one times the vector one one plus c sub two times the vector three two must equal the vector four five. And now let's perform the scalar multiplication on the left and also add the two matrices, which will result in a two by one column matrix, where the first entry will be C sub one times one plus C sub two times three, or C sub one plus three C sub two. The second entry will be C sub one times one plus C sub two times two, or C sub one plus two C sub two. This is still equal to the vector four or five on the right. And now from here, we'll write a system of equations where the first equation is C sub one plus three C sub two equals four. And the second equation is C sub one plus two C sub two equals five. And now we will solve the system by writing an augmented matrix, and then writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. We will have a two by three augmented matrix, where the first row is one, three, four, and the second row is one, two, five. And now let's write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Let's get a zero in row one, column two, Notice the least common multiple of two and three is six. Let's replace row one with negative three times row two plus two times row one. Notice negative three times two is negative six plus two times three would give us plus six, which is equal to zero. And let's also get a zero in row two column one by replacing row two with negative one times row one plus row two. Notice negative one times one is negative one, plus one is zero. So again, replacing row one with negative three times row two, plus two times row one, we have negative three times one, plus two times one, which is negative one. And then we have negative three times two, which is negative six, plus two times three, which is six. Negative six plus six is zero. And then we have negative three times five, which is negative 15, plus two times four, which is eight. Negative 15 plus eight is negative seven. And now we replace row two with negative one times row one plus row two. We have negative one times one plus one, which is zero. And then we have negative one times three, which is negative three plus two, which is negative one. Next, negative one times four is negative four plus five, which is positive one. And now to make the leading entries positive one, not negative one, we will replace row one with negative one times row one and replace row two with negative one times row two, which gives us one, zero, seven, zero, one, negative one. Remember the variables are C sub one and C sub two, where the coefficients of C sub one are in the first column and the coefficients of C sub two are in the second column. So now we know that C sub one is equal to seven and C sub two is equal to negative one. Going back up to our vector equation, since C sub one is seven and C sub two is negative one, we now know that seven times vector u plus negative one times vector v, or just minus one times vector v, is equal to vector w. This verifies that vector w is a linear combination of vectors u and v, which means vector w is in the span of the vectors u and v. Of course, we can check this if we want, seven times vector u, which is the vector one, one, minus one times 
vector v, which is the vector three, two, must equal vector w, which is the vector four, five. Notice seven times one minus one times three is four, and seven times one minus one times two is five. Let's finish by saying that vector w is in the span of vectors u and v, since vector w is a linear combination of vectors u and v, where vector w is equal to seven times vector u minus one times vector v. I hope you found this helpful.